The modular industry is a very interesting industry in that it's been around for about 50 years, but about every five years, the modular industry is the next great thing. We have a technology that is better, that will literally create better buildings at a faster schedule of a higher quality and a lower cost, and that is the trifecta, right? That's the, the holy grail. It's not a way to build, it is the way to build. Changing the industry is very difficult and doesn't happen often, if ever. You look at your iPhone, there's been, what, 12 iterations in as many years, and we haven't changed how we build buildings in close to 200 years. If you look at the traditional construction world, a general contractor needs a license and a pickup truck, and they're in business. To start a modular manufacturing company takes millions of dollars and a lot of time and energy. MyTech decided, I would say two to three years ago, we're gonna focus our individual businesses and the capabilities and the high caliber personnel on what we thought was the most daunting and needed task in construction, creating modular in a way not yet seen before. MyTech has got an over 80 year history providing excellent and extreme facade systems, structural systems, mechanical systems, electrical systems. We have a lot of expertise in-house that we have brought to bear on this modular project, but we also recognized we didn't have all the answers and we didn't have all the expertise. We partnered with Danny Forster and Architecture to come alongside us in a joint venture to help us deeply understand the opportunities and challenges from an architectural and engineering perspective. Danny Forrester and his firm have been architects on some of the most iconic modular projects globally to date. We're very passionate about this technology. What we experience is this. We're one firm, right? We're one architecture practice, and we design one, two, three, maybe five buildings that, that, that use this technology. We're not making enough progress because there isn't the ability for us at one firm doing a few projects to move the needle and literally transform an entire industry that involves contractors, engineers, municipal authorities, lenders, inspectors, government officials, right? It's a massive ecosystem of different constituencies, and we're just one part of the puzzle. You know, it's not about doing one project or two projects. It's about doing 20 projects, 50 projects, 100 projects. In order to do that, we've got to roll up our sleeves and do the hard work. I said to my tech, and we committed to the fact that we've got a lot of ideas, and they're ready to be tested, not launched. And so with that mentality of humility and curiosity, we created a laboratory. We ourselves created a whole modular system, designed and built these modular units. There was no client, by the way. There was no brief. We invented it for ourselves to simply challenge ourselves to see what would happen. What was incredible in our modular laboratories as we built these prototypes, we timed ourselves. If you have a flat tire driving down the road, maybe it takes you 20 minutes to change a tire. But if, if I'm part of a NASCAR pit crew, we're changing a tire in seconds. Why? Because they have looked at every step in the process. They looked at how to organize the tools, organize the people to get this thing as tight as possible. So we timed ourselves installing elements, lights, plumbing, toilets, tiles, and we looked at it the old way and we looked at it the new way. And if we could carve off seconds, if we could find areas where time was being lost, in modular, take that lost time and apply it hundreds of times down the line. That's where you make change in modular. We've learned a lot from the automobile industry. You know, in the old days, you would build every part of the car on the assembly line. Now, an entire dashboard with all the electronics and all shows up and gets inserted into a car. We're taking that same approach to every facet of building a modular building. For example, the plumbing wall behind me, all was created outside of the cage. So this wall has got all this stuff going on. We've got a double vanity, we've got some low voltage and some electrical, and we've even got sconces as well. So you've got all this infrastructure in this wall. So rather than build a wall, then call on the electrician, and then call on the plumber, what if we took the entire operation, that entire wall, and treated it like an object, built it outside of the module, pre-built it, pre-cut the studs, pre-installed the electrical, pre-installed all the plumbing. So when it was time to go in, imagine this, just two guys pick up the wall, walk it in, and drop it in place, and you're done. 
I have to say one of the most exciting aspects of our work with MyTech is just inventing things. We're not going to the store and buying stuff. We're not borrowing technology from somebody else. We're not licensing anything from anyone else. We are inventing bespoke innovations for this modular system with our incredible group of partners and engineers here. Our approach to innovation is system-wide. We don't look at these things as discrete products. So when we think about the pop-up cage, the locking key, the facade, the fireboard, they're all interrelated and interconnected, and we're constantly looking at those interactions between those discrete elements to make sure when combined together, we're accomplishing our broader mission. You probably know that MyTech is part of the component industry and has been for many years. What you might not know is that we are, at our core, a software and technology company. We've got over 400 software developers around the world who've been developing innovative solutions for decades. How do we bring those hundreds of software developers and all of their skills and all of our experience to bear in solving this modular problem? Not just for one project, but to raise an entire industry. In fact, we have developed some software that presents each step of the construction process in the most intuitive, natural, immersive way so that our factory workers have no translation required. The worker is seeing and being presented with exactly what he needs at that moment to perform his task, but at all times, he can understand and get a visual representation of what the end game is. The technology allows us to really explore what's behind the walls. Imagine being able to literally open up your computer, go into a factory, go into a module, and then get this, go back in time. Imagine being able to look at a wall and say, wait a minute, where did they put the electrical boxes? How did the conduit get run? and being able to move that wall magically, literally go back in time, peel back that wall, and validate that what was built aligns with what was designed. Well, I want to validate that, even though it's happening hundreds of miles away. I can do that with our technology. We can't just make a great module. We have to think about the system, the contractor, the owner, the inspector, all these different elements. You know, the chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and modular is just like that. In order to really make a difference in modular, you really have to take a decades-long horizon to have enough runway to really do the fundamental types of innovation that are needed. As a company, we've spent decades developing software, automated equipment, and innovative products to advance the construction industry. But now, we're taking all of that experience and focusing it on the modular problem. We know construction costs are going up. We know pandemics will happen again and compromise our ability to work. How do we think of new ways to do? Now more than ever is the time to figure out that solution. And what I think is really bold and exciting is when this pandemic happened, most companies retrenched, right? They pulled back investment. Most closed their doors, right? MyTech did the opposite. MyTech was hiring across this entire spectrum of the modular effort. MyTech hired draftspeople, computer programmers, architectural people, construction individuals, plant individuals. MyTech tripled down, not just doubled down, on its effort to execute its modular vision. Because we want to see great buildings built, built at the highest quality, but we also want to see labor come back to America. We want to see cities that have the ability to get built with more buildings. We want more affordable housing. Systems will do that. Not great individual projects, but core systems that can be repeated and scaled. And that's what we're developing here. Our end game is really to build an enablement platform that enables the industry on a much broader scale to adopt and build modular buildings with our assistance. This journey is decades long. This initiative will continue to grow, continue to evolve. And we have the ability, the financial stability, as well as the vision and the conviction to continue to press forward, to change the industry.